Hey, what's going on, Taco Squad? It's your boy, Roman, a.k.a. Mr. Enemy 343 and today, I want to talk to you guys about a little something that's on my mind. I originally wrote down a script for this, but I'm going to use some of the script, but the rest of it's actually pretty much going to be um from the heart. So, today's topic I want to talk to you guys about is uh, etchy anime and fan service. Now, basically, this is just my personal opinion here, and how I actually see things, but you see, I don't actually have any problems or issues with um edgy anime or fan service or anything like that. But the main thing that I have against it is it's actually oh how these SJWs, feminazis, and all these other types of people that actually just say it's misogynistic. It demeans women. It just actually shows that, you know, women are actually used as, like, you know, pieces of meat. They they don't even actually see the concept of uh, what anime is. They don't understand the story of it. I mean, basically, I'm actually going to come out and say this. As, an, as a fan of anime, I actually had no problems. And basically... Here's the thing. There was actually this um, article I actually found on Twitter about some way actually, you know, doing like an article of some kind. I was originally thinking it was like, you know, an anime news network, CBR, friggin' feminist anime type of like, you know, journalist write-up. And now I'm going to use journalists because basically... They're all just like, you know, feminist activists. And basically, I just can't stand idly by just watching people just constantly berate what we actually hold dear. And basically, I for one, actually prefer watching anime peacefully. Because basically, we actually see comic books, we see... Freaking movies, video games, and like, you know, live action TV shows, all freaking just forcing all these like LGBT politics, PC culture, freaking unnecessary, like, you know, SJW rhetoric and propaganda, just forced into those shows and then just force it down our throats. Now, I know it's an election year, and basically, I will be voting this year as well. But I'm not going to say who I'm voting for, or that basically, I don't want to force like my political views on you, because basically, I don't do politics, because politics is just not my thing. I steer the hell away from that shit. Pardon my French, but basically, that's just me. It's It's the fact that... Everybody actually has to think a certain way. Like, you know, how people always actually support, like, you know, the riots. People actually looting things. Forcing their personal beliefs on other people. What's wrong with having, you know, an independent thought? I actually have my own opinions. And if I actually want to voice my opinions, I'll be able to voice them. You see, that's the thing about actually having, you know, a conversation. When it's actually two people, you know, you actually have two different points of view. Basically, one person should actually have a different point of view from another person. And sometimes it's actually healthy to just disagree with that person. But instead, you know, nowadays it's kind of hard with everybody just, you know, going back and forth with each other saying, you don't agree with me? Then you're a racist and you're a homophobe and all that. Seriously. This is how freaking messed up this world is. So I did my civil part and actually told the uh, writer of the uh, article my personal point of view as an otaku and 
basically we've actually been seeing like SJWs keep constantly attacking anime. You know, since 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020. Basically, you know, after the inauguration of Trump. But you see, this is why we do not, and I repeat, do not endorse politics into our entertainment, like real world politics. Basically, if it's actually just fictional and drives actually drives um drives a good point to uh the storyline and it doesn't interfere, that's fine. We prefer having, you know, good quality entertainment without having like unnecessary LGBT plus representation. We don't want PC culture. We don't want unnecessary politics forced down our throats. Constantly point, point. That was a little bit of a redundant point that I just made like earlier, but I'm trying to get this through the points of the SJWs. They don't get it through their thick skulls that we do not want politics into our entertainment. They don't see that. I mean, they actually might as well go to a freaking art museum and actually say that the sculptures of like freaking and sculptures and paintings of like the uh, art of like you know naked women say, oh, that's actually misogynistic because basically it demeans women. Dude, seriously, it's just a painting. It's just a sculpture. It's just like anime. They're drawings. They're actually meant to actually express creativity. Oh. You see, I swear, these people just drive me to drink. But I actually really hate to do this to you guys. So if you actually agree with me, I will be leaving a, a link to, um, I will be leaving a link to uh, the article that I was reading on Twitter into the description along with uh, if you guys actually want to throw your voices in there as well just uh, leave me a comment in the leave me a comment smash the like button subscribe if you're new along with hitting that notification bell for future updates and just remember these three things guys respect the waifus enjoy your fandoms anime is freedom and until the next one this is Mr. Enemy343 saying sign everyone <laughs>